Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems and I think we're on episode 88 now which is absolutely insane how many of these systems we have done now but before we begin guys just a massive massive thank you as always for everyone who's recently subscribed continues to come back to the videos every day it means the world it's absolutely amazing um, how things are going and yeah road to 9,000 subscribers now really really cool stuff but yeah let's get into the video now so um yeah today we have a system from the user u20 and they have sent a system in called the iota zulu or oh, excuse me the zulu star system so let's go ahead and search this up right here we go and they claim it has a lot of uh insane planets in it so i'm interested to see what sort of stuff we got in here so yeah let's begin if it will um, load of course so there we are so long loading time. All right, here we go. Oh, this is looking interesting. Right, so yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. And it is extremely laggy in here. So I'm assuming there's an asteroid belt or something. Because that is a lot of lag. And oh my god. Okay. That is a ton of stuff. I mean, if we go on flashlight just to get the full look of all this. That's a lot of rings. I mean, if we get the object count. We're simulating 25,000 objects right now. This could result in a crash if I'm not um, careful enough. So anyways, here is our star. And here are its stats. If okay, if it would even open that. Nah. There we go. So um, luminosity is almost eight thousand suns. So pretty, uh, pretty bright star on the sky. I mean, don't even see any zone at all on it. Maybe it's glitch. I don't know. Um, anyways, orbits. Right, first planet is here. Okay, so Zulu B. Okay, let's go ahead and see this one. So, okay, so this is a very, very hot object as we can see. With 21,000 degrees and oh my 2,100 degrees, sorry, um, right there. And that background looks insane. I only just noticed that. Oh, wow. So they're using the light Milky Way by the looks of it, and they've changed the uh, settings on it. Oh, that's really cool. Right. So, um, yeah, not not often we see those um, backgrounds, actually, um, custom backgrounds like that. So that's pretty uh, a nice addition there. Right. Now we have planet number or planet letter C right here so this one is a blue object as we can see it's got some moons around it as well so yeah we'll go ahead and uh, check these guys out okay so i think these are all minor moons here and uh, yeah the other that one is but then this one over here this purple um one which seems to be smoking up as well as you can see there's some stuff around it i don't know if i can i, can I even click on it let, let me click on the planet or the moon but there you go okay so a true okay so that one there not sure how to pronounce that one <laughs> so yeah there it is anyway looking really really nice with like a dark red and magenta color theme going on there looking really cool but damn that background looks good really really bright milky way there right now we have deep planet d over here and this one's cooler down in temperature compared to the last one and that is a lovely looking um choice of color there so he's gone with a light blue and a per dark sort of purple that's looking really really nice there very very nice choice the background actually looks really cool. You can see all the stars lit up in it. I know I keep saying the background looks cool, but it looks really cool. Uh, now I've clicked on a random asteroid by mistake. Where are we? Can I, can I zoom out? There we go. Okay, so planet... Okay, so we went to... Yes, yeah, so we went to D. Okay, so the next one is E over here. I wonder what that gas giant object was, was that we saw at the start there. I'm interested to see that. Oh, this one's got rings as well. Damn, there's a lot of rings in here. Right, anyway, so there it is. So this one's... um. It hotter in temperature again still um, too hot for any um, earth like stuff so there it is there going for like a yellow colored atmosphere there looking like a pretty toxic looking object with the uh, colors on there it's also got an extremely hot moon and there is an insane fragment a fragment a lot of fragments <laughs> right there so then we've got some more moons damn those fragment objects are crazy can I, can I select that please there we go so e sit here right okay so there we are moving on to the next object right now okay so this one over here oh we have an earth like object looking very fine by the picture as well similar to size and radius as well temperature's quite um, nice and warm let's check the uh stats on this guy so 88 and 60 on there that's a really nice looking object with a dark green there looking very very fine indeed and then it also has a moon over here as well right there right yo that's looking good Right, there we are. That background, though, it looks amazing. That is really, really cool. I really like that. So, there we are. Definitely the best background we've seen in the simulation in a while. All right, next up, we've got Akam. So, this is just a minor object by the looks of it. it looks like he's forgotten to do the letter, letter all of these guys. I think these are all just random names. So, yeah, one minute we're at planet... Um, it Was was it 
E, wasn't it? Yeah, we're E, and now it's just going on to random names. So I think he's um, finished it entirely. All right, anyways, moving on. Another asteroid there. I'm assuming this is an asteroid. Oh no, oh, no that's the gas giant we started at. Okay, so what's this guy like? Well, this has a ton of stuff around it as well. Jeez. All right, so there it is. Looking very fine indeed. There, a ton of is he, yeah, even got rings as well. Ton of moons. I mean, that's pretty crazy. More like a brown dwarf-like object actually. Okay, so all these ash. I'm assuming they're all asteroids, so I'm not going to click on all of them. So I'm hoping I'm not missed anything. Okay, so there was a regular object there. Yeah, but I, I think most of these are asteroids. Okay, so we can move on. This one here is a green Pluto. Check that out. Wow, so this is a green tinted Pluto with like a light green atmosphere as well. That's a pretty unique object. Look at that. This one, yeah, all green Pluto there. That's, it looks pretty good in green. So yeah, there it is. Atmosphere looks quite good on it as well, I have to say. Right, there we are. Right, now moving on to this one over here. That's just a frozen ice world. Next one. Then looks like another sort of random generous object there. Got a few more objects further out as well here. Any um, more moon-sized ones, or are they all just asteroid size? Looks like they're all... Okay, so I think they're all asteroids. Okay, so moving out of that gas giant now. Right, so now we're going to Zodia over here. And, ooh, look at the colours on this one. Looking pretty fine. Also with its own ring system. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. The only um, quarrel I'd have of it is that yellow band does look a bit out of place, but that's just my preference. But um, anyways, it, those rings look really cool. I mean, you can... Yeah, look at those. So many rings around this guy. All different... Like, you can see he's put some time into getting these rings how he wants them. Like, he's got all different rows and layers all there. He must have added rings a few times to get all of those in the uh, correct order and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, moving on to um, the moons. If there's anything interesting, we'll zoom in for a closer look. But it looks like it's mostly just random generated objects with um, a few um, more notable ones like this one here. We've got, actually got some frozen ice on it, um, which looks pretty cool. Right, there we are. Now we've got a few more moons out here. Securio Oropax. That's a that's a generated name. I know that. That's a, oh, frozen up as well. Look at that. It's a pretty, pretty cold at minus 88 degrees. That's like Mars temperature. A little colder than Mars, I think, normally is. Um, then we have the last object over here. Okay. Right, move into the next object now. Okay. Damn, I really hope there's no more rings. I really want to remove all the rings just so the game will be less laggy. Anyways, the next up we got um, Fowlweather here, and that is a beautiful looking gas giant. I think I've seen this one before. Uh, I'm not sure. I've definitely seen one with similar colours, and that is that's a nice mix of um, hot pink and red there. That's looking good. Also, with an insane ring system, he really likes his rings, uh, U20, by the um, looks of it. Right, there we are. So moving on to the moons. That is a really nice gas giant, though. And it's really cool how the rings light up with the uh, background behind as well, so you don't have to use flashlight mode. So, yeah, even if we use uh, realistic, you can still see the rings perfectly fine. Right, anyways, looking at the moons. Looks like we've got um, some more we got regular moons in there. Nothing um, too noticeable to uh, check out. Um, and, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's all of them. So moving to the next one now. Right. Oh, we still have a ton of stuff in here. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of things. Right. So now, Lazendar. Oh, this one's looking good as well. Another hot pink and red one by the looks of it here. That's a nice mix of colour, actually. That's looking good. Also, with a ring system here. Right, there we are. So we'll go ahead and check out the moons. I'll make the uh, image bigger. Because zooming in, I just don't want to make the computer too, or too, too much lag. Because I do not want the game crashing on me. Because that is very annoying when I'm recording. Anyways, um, all of the objects here. Get a decent look at them all in the bigger menu now. So there we are. Keep on, Click on it. Yes, the lag is not helpful. <laughs> yeah, guys, please don't add too many rings in your systems. Otherwise, this happens and it just makes life really annoying. <laughs> so I don't want to remove all the rings because I don't want to miss out on anything. But yeah, you can see it really does slow down my uh, speed of traveling around, and it could make the recording a little choppy. So keep that in mind if you're making systems. Don't add, don't go overboard with the rings because there's a ton of rings in there. This must be one of the biggest ring systems we've had in ages. And my computer's been really bad lately. Anyway, I don't know why. We've had a lot of game crashes, which is really annoying. Anyways, next object here, fitting us here. Looks like Sedna actually, right there, reddish color there. That definitely looks like a spawned in Sedna. Right, zooming out. A lot of scrolling on the scroll wheel. Right, another Akam object. That's a very common name. Akam, Fittiness, Aura Pax. I know they are very common names. Um, okay, this one here. Okay. Right, okay, that one as well. 
Yeah, I'm not going to bother pronouncing all this. So I just look like a fool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there we are. Going to quickly go through all these guys. There's a ton of uh, random objects in there. Oh, there's another Aura Pax. Yeah, that's a very common name to get as well. All right, so that is all of the ones in that area. So now going on to the very outer objects here. All of these guys. Okay, it's all random stuff again. And then the last object in here is to stay out of there and i think that is all of them and that fragment name is ridiculously long right so now since we've gone through it all, we can actually delete all the particles and that's going to make my life a lot easier oh look how much more smooth that is you can see the rings really make a difference when you um add them in but anyway yeah look we only have 98 objects now i mean yeah those rings half from that extra 25,000 objects that really does make a difference but yeah now we can get a full look at the system in chart mode so we can actually see everything nicely here so there was that hot gas chunk we saw at the start. What does that look like if you cool it down, though? Let's have a look. Let me cool, cool it down. Off we, cool, we click play. Actually, I'll just lower the master one Jupiter just so we can see the color underneath because I wonder if it's a special color or not. I think it is because it looks like it's got more bands than normal. But anyways, let's uh, wait for it to cool down. Let's see um, what color it is underneath if it would actually cool down for us. Come on. Cool down. Let's speed you up, then. I want to see what that is. Oh, okay, so that's what it looks like underneath. And I've, I've definitely seen this one before. And that, yeah, it's one of those crazy black and rainbow sort of colored objects. So I've, yeah, I've definitely seen that one before. That's cool. So yeah, that's a pretty cool um, choice to make into the hot gas giant there. That's really cool. Favorite gas giant out of them all is definitely one of these two. The Lazendar or the Fowever. Definitely one of those two. I really like them. Favorite out of the Rockies is, I think it's, was it that one? I think it was this one, the really cool cyan purple there. No, it definitely wasn't that one. I think it was this one. That's the coolest rocky, if you ask me in here. And then, yeah, look at all the uh, moons and stuff we had in here as well. A ton of little moons and asteroids going down in here as well. I mean, look at all these guys. A lot of stuff here. But, yeah, there we go. So that is all of the objects there. So, yeah, pretty um, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool system. Definitely a, a winner for the most amount of rings we've had in a while because that was a ton of rings. I mean, 25,000. It's quite a lot of rings. I'm surprised your computer managed to run that. And oh my god, what have we done by clicking play? What has happened? What have we done? Is that gas giant just broke? Oh, it's because we lowered the mass. That's why we've broken it. <laughs> oh dear. Because all those asteroids are just going to shoot out all of their moons. Oh, uh, whoops. It looks like some of the other objects are having some problems with their moons. Okay, so this is definitely a simulation. It isn't meant to be run. And my game is frozen. We may have just crashed. And we have crashed, I think. So, um... I guess we'll end it off there then, guys. Um, hopefully, um, the screen won't just go dark to nothingness. But, yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. So, yeah, really, really cool um, system, I have to say. Ton of rings as well, like I said. But if you want to send your own rings in, guys, make sure to uh, send them in in my Discord server. Link in the description of this video. But, yeah, make sure to send your systems in there, and I can check them out for a future episode of this. As we're almost up to episode 90 now, and that is absolutely insane. And I think episode 100 will have to do something special for. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And, yeah, that's that's everything i need to say guys yeah thanks again for u20 for sending in the system today um and yeah guys make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye